We are now ready for problem 55. Let's go and pull it up. It's in the form of a story problem, but really I'm sure it's probably just a problem where we have to take to an integration. <clears throat> <clears throat> the rate at which a machine officers efficiency E expressed as a percent. So I guess 100 would mean it's 100% efficient, zero means 0% 0 efficient. Changes with respect to time and it's given by, so they have this equation, it's a derivative of how the efficiency is changing with respect to time. So it's not the same, it's changing over time. Ortiz number of hours has been at work. So the efficiency, of, the efficiency a person has depends upon how long they've been working. <clears throat> Two parts. Find E of T, given that the operator's efficiency after working two hours is 67%. And then use the answer to find. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this, this is a derivative, and we're going to find the original function E of T. And then gave it us given us information to allow us to find the constant. And then once we find the constant, therefore we have the function, and then we're going to do another calculation. Or actually two more, three hours and five hours. So let me write down the initial information that's going to allow us to calculate this E function. So they tell us. Once again, this is 55. The EDT is 25 minus 8T. And they tell us that E of 2 is 67. Where that 2 is the time. So it's basically saying after the person's worked two hours, their efficiency is 67%. So we're gonna look at three hours and five hours, okay. So the first part, part A, we want to find out what this function E is. And the way we do it is we're going to take the derivative of the e dt with respect to time. So I plug in 25 minus 8t pretty straightforward derivative. I have two terms so 25t minus 8 t squared over 2 plus c. If I simplify this, 25t minus 4t squared plus c. Now I can figure out what c equals because we were told that e of 2 is 67. So I plug 2 in for t here. 25 times 2 minus 4 times 2 squared plus C. 67 equals 50 minus 16 plus C. This is 34, so minus 34, if I cannot mess up in my head. I'm gonna say C is 33, so therefore, we're gonna say this is 25T minus 4T squared plus 33. I can check that real quick. If I plug in two, 50, Minus 16, 34, 67. I think it's correct. Let's go ahead and do parts B. So now that we have this equation for E, they want to know 
what's the efficiency? At three hours and at five hours. So I just plug in three for T here. 25 times three minus four times three squared plus 33. 75 minus 36 plus 33 minus 3. I think it's 72% efficient <clears throat> after five hours. 25 times 5 minus 4 times 5 squared. 25 times 5 is 125. 25 times 4 is 100. 25 plus 33. I guess the more the person works, the less efficient they become. All right, so here are all the answers. Let's plug them in and see if they're correct. So this first one is just going to be the equation 25t plus, whoops, minus 4t squared plus 33. All right, that's good. Now when I put in three, I end up with 72%. And when I put in five, got 55%. Whoops. Must have made a math error. Let's go back and check. Let me look real quick. 25 times five is 125, 25 times 4 is 100, so that's 25, oh, 58. Once again, you guys probably all saw that. All right. Um, my guess is this is the same kind of problem, maybe. Concert promoter sells tickets, marginal profit function. So P is how much money the person makes. The profit, this is a derivative. So it's changing. Find the total profit from the sell of the first 70 tickets, disregarding the fixed cost. So I give us a derivative. We're going to take the integral and find the profit. Now, I think when they say disregard any fixed cost, I think that means the constant after we take the integral is going to be zero. Because they don't give us the information to determine the constant. So I think that means it's going to be zero. All right. So let's write down this equation. This is 56. First derivative of P of X equals 8X minus 1181. And what they really want to know is Profit when you sell 70 tickets. So to get, I'm giving the first root of to get the actual function, take the integral. So it's going to be 8x minus 1181 with respect to x. 8x squared over 2 minus 1181x 
plus C. So what I'm assuming is they're telling us that C is zero, since they said there's no initial fixed cost. Whoops. Should be P of X equals four X squared minus one, one, eight, one X. So now this is the amount of money you make based upon how many tickets you sell. So if I have 70 tickets, This one's definitely going to take the calculator. <clears throat> so 70 squared, which I know is 4,900 times 4, 1181, 70 plus recall 1. Now, this answer is surprising. I'm going to check my math because it's saying they're losing a bunch of money. So I'm going to make sure what's problem done correctly. The first step. So it's 8x minus 1181. And we're looking at 70 tickets. So derivative is 8x squared over 2 minus 1181x. Assume the c is 0. Plug in 70. 1181 times 70. Well, I don't see a mistake. Let's enter it. Let's see. That says they're losing lots of money. Maybe that's correct because they got to sell a lot more tickets to make money. Negative 63070. 63. All right. Well, oh, they're losing a lot of money. And another one. This one, clothing company, marginal cost. It's given by the function below where it's a derivative. And then with the total cost. Once again, no fixed cost. Once again, I think it's just like the last problem. We're gonna take the integral. Plug in, in this case, 210. All right, 57. Derivative of C of X is negative two over 25 X plus 55. And we're gonna figure it out. What we want is C of 210 dresses. All right. They give me the derivative. I want the initial function. So I'm going to take the derivative of this with respect to x. Negative 2 over 25 x squared over 2. So those twos cancel out. Plus 55 x. I would put plus c, but they say the fixed cost is zero. So I'll just. So c of x is going to be negative x squared over 25 plus 55x. So we want to know the cost for 210 dresses. So 210 squared over 25 plus 55 
times two and ten. So two one zero squared divided by twenty five equals. Fifty five times two ten nine seven eight six. So I guess the cost of making two hundred ten dresses is nine thousand seven hundred eighty six dollars. Nine seven eight six nine seven eight six. All right. Let's go ahead and um, let's actually stop this video for now because we're on to a. Uh, it's still gonna be integration, but it's looking at integrating with respect to graphs. So let's go and stop now and we can start again with sort of a new kind of topic.